The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to Titus. It is for you, then, to preach the behavior which goes with healthy doctrine. Older men should be reserved, dignified, moderate, sound in faith and love and perseverance. Similarly, older women should behave as befits religious people, with no scandal-mongering and no addiction to wine. They must be the teachers of right behavior and show younger women how they should love their husbands and love their children, how they must be sensible and chaste, and how to work in their homes and be gentle and obey their husbands so that the message of God is not disgraced. Similarly, urge younger men to be moderate in everything they do. And you, yourself, set an example of good works by sincerity and earnestness when you are teaching, and by a message sound and irreproachable so that any opponent will be at a loss with no accusation to make against us. You see, God's grace has been revealed to save the whole human race. It has taught us that we should give up everything contrary to true religion and all our worldly passions. We must be self-restrained and live upright and religious lives in this present world, waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. He offered himself for us in order to ransom us from all our faults and to purify a people to be his very own and eager to do good. And our responsorial psalm comes from Psalm 37. Put your trust in Yahweh and do right. Make your home in the land and live secure. Make Yahweh your joy, and He will give you your heart's desires. The lives of the just are in Yahweh's care. Their birthright will endure forever. Yahweh guides a strong man's steps and keeps them firm and takes pleasure in him. Turn your back on evil and do good you will have a home forever. But the upright shall have the land for their own. And there, they shall live forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. And Jesus said, Which of you with a servant plowing or minding sheep would say to him when he returned from the fields, Come and have your meal at once? Would he not be more likely to say, get my supper ready, fasten your belt and wait on me while I eat and drink? You yourself can eat and drink afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? And so with you. When you have done all you have been told to do, say, we are useless servants. We have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord.